Hello everyone, welcome to the Bug Expert channel. In this video, we will talk about solutions for friends who encounter the Overwatch 2 unexpected server error. This situation encountered by the players is usually caused by the density of the game's servers or the maintenance of the servers. Of course, we may encounter such an error not only because of this problem, but also because of many problems. For this, we can reach the solution of the problem by following the suggestions below. Before we show you solutions, we will briefly talk about the forum. You can forward various errors you encounter to the community on the forum portal we have opened. For this, if your problem continues or if you encounter a different problem, you can get a quick response by sharing it on the forum portal. We care about your questions and suggestions. The fact that game developers take care of the game can cause such problems. For this, we can understand what is causing the problem by checking the servers. Of course, not only due to the maintenance of the game, but also the crash of the servers can cause us to encounter this problem. We can check the servers by reaching the link we left in the article. You can see server or other maintenance by checking the Twitter page where Overwatch 2 game developers are currently sharing so that we can instantly check the maintenance of the servers. The fact that the Battle.net program does not run as an administrator can cause us to encounter many errors. If the permission to install the file on the storage is not allowed, running it as an administrator will help us solve this problem. For this, first of all, let's save the compatibility setting of the Battle.net program so that we run it with administrator privilege. After this process, let's reach the Overwatch 2 game folder and set the administrator privilege of the Overwatch launcher file and save it. After completing the processes successfully, if the Battle.net application is open, let's run it by closing it with the help of a task manager and check if the problem persists. We may need to verify game file integrity and scan and download missing or faulty files. For this, open the Battle.net application and select the Overwatch 2 game and click the setting icon next to the play button and click scan and repair. Do not close the application or restart the computer until the verification process is complete. After the verification process is completed successfully, you can check if the problem persists by running the game. Internet connection problems can cause many errors. If you are experiencing slowdown or disconnection in your internet connection, let's give a few suggestions to fix it. First of all, let's type CMD in the start search screen and run it as an administrator. Paste the lines of code in the article into the command prompt window, respectively, and press enter. After completing all the operations, check if the problem still persists. Turn your modem off, wait 20 seconds, and turn it back on. During this process, your IP address will change and will prevent various network problems. If the problem persists, let's move on to another suggestion. If the problem persists, we can set the DNS server as Google default DNS server and eliminate the problem. To do this, Right-click the internet icon in the lower right and click Open Network and Internet Settings. Click on the Change Adapter Options option in the new window that opens and right-click on the Ethernet option to access the Properties menu. Configure and save the Google DNS setting by double-clicking on the Internet Protocol version 4 option on the screen that opens. Once the process is complete we can check if the issue still occurs. If your internet is open to secure internet, you can turn off your secure internet by calling the internet service provider or by reaching the internet service provider's internet address. Having secure internet turned on may prevent servers from connecting. For this, you need to make sure that your secure internet is not open. Disable any antivirus program you are using or delete it completely from your computer. If you are using Windows Defender, disable it. For this, Let's write virus and threat protection on the start search screen and open it. Click on the manage settings option on the screen that opens and scroll down the menu and click on the managed controlled folder access option. After this process, let's disable the controlled folder access option and come back. Let's turn off the real-time protection that comes up and go down again and click on the add or remove exclusions option. Click on the add and exclusion option on the screen that opens. Select the folder and select the folders where the Battle.net application is installed and save. For this, 
Let's access the battle.net folders by following me carefully. After the save process is complete, let's close the battle.net program with the help of the task manager and run it again and check if the problem persists. The firewall may be blocking the battle.net or Overwatch 2 app. To avoid this, we will need to allow a few valuable applications from the Windows Defender firewall. For this, let's type Windows Defender firewall in the start search screen and open it. Click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall on the left side of the screen that opens. After this, click Change Settings and click Allow another app. In the new window that opens, click the Browse option and Follow Me and confirm the firewall for Battle.net applications, respectively. After successfully completing the process, you can check if the issue still persists by running the battle.net application. If none of the above suggestions work for you, we can fix the problem by performing the port setting configured for Overwatch 2. Type Windows Defender Firewall in the Start Search screen and run it. Click on Advanced Settings on the left side of the screen that opens. Select the Inbound Rules option on the left side of the screen that opens and click the New Rules option on the right. Select the port option on the screen that opens and proceed. Then, let's continue the process by setting the TCP option and pasting the port in the article. Then, let's move forward by selecting the allow the connection option and continue by enabling all three features. After this process, let's save the name of the port we created. After successfully performing this operation, let's set the UDP port. In the same way, click on the New Rule option and select the UDP option. After this process, let's give the port name by applying the previous settings in the same way and save the process. After completing the operation successfully, you can check if the problem persists by running the game. Yes, in this video we have provided information on how to fix the Overwatch 2 login error. If you are encountering various errors, you can reach the community with your questions by accessing the forum portal we have opened. By supporting us, we can expand our community. Thank you.